two. All right, welcome back into the Making Tech Talk. Here we are back at Georgia Tech, Bobby Dodd Stadium, where the Yellow Jackets earlier today beat Middle Tennessee State 42-14. to Of course, a, a big win for the Yellow Jackets in that it's their, uh, it's their third straight win of the, of the past couple of games. They've beaten Virginia. They've also beaten uh, Wake Forest in the past couple of games. And so now they've got that momentum. They've got a little something going into Clemson next week where they'll be taking on yet another ACC foe. This is, of course, an Atlantic foe, but a, a, a team that Georgia Tech still has to beat and a team that they know is going to come in there with revenge on its mind, with a chip on its shoulder. Of course, the Clemson Tigers lost last year to the Yellow Jackets twice. They lost in the regular season, and then they also lost in the ACC title game to, the, to Georgia Tech down in Tampa, 39. 934. I don't think you guys need me to repeat that too much because you remember what happened. Anyway, in terms of what happened here this afternoon, of course it's nighttime now, but this afternoon, Georgia Tech with a big victory. Julian Burnett was probably uh, the hero of the day for Georgia Tech. Of course, Burnett had eight tackles. He had a sack. He had interception. He forced the fumble. He pretty much did it all there on defense. He wasn't the only one who did it all, though. Dominic Reese also had a big game, causing a sack, uh, causing a fumble as well. You also had Gerard Tarrant, who had two interceptions himself, so a big afternoon defensively for the Yellow Jackets. They really got things going. The 3-4 scheme, at least for now, seems to be operating on all cylinders. It seems to be playing exactly how Al Groh has scripted it the whole way along. In terms of the offense, still another good afternoon there in that regard as well. Anthony Allen got going a little bit. He only had about 77 rushing yards for about a 5.8 yard uh, per carry total for the day. Two touchdowns, that's not too bad. On the offensive side of the ball, also you had Joshua Nesbitt who passed for, uh, for a touchdown there to Stephen Hill late in the ball game. That kind of got the Yellow Jackets going. And so, uh, again, they, they just had that complete package overall. This is kind of the first time where we've really seen both sides of the ball play as well as it did. In terms of special teams, one thing that we probably didn't really expect to see too much of is Scott Blair. He actually missed. First time all year, he was 9 of 9 coming into the ball game and missed for the first time all year. It's okay, he said. He's going to come into next week and try to start a new streak. He says that now 9 is the target. He wants to do better than 9 from here on out. Uh, well, that's about all we've got time for here today. Again, 42-14, Georgia Tech with a, a, a really big win. They needed that blowout kind of win, too, to validate a little bit more of what they've got going on. This should, again, give them that momentum going into Clemson next week. And uh, it's a long way. It's a long road the rest of the way. Clemson next week, a bye, then Virginia Tech, and then Miami, and then Duke, and then Georgia to close out the year. So uh, a tough road ahead for the Yellow Jackets, but they seem to be ready for it after this performance today. Thanks again for stopping by. We'll have more updates and this kind of thing on the blog and on Macon.com uh, throughout the week, and we'll see you at Clemson next week. Thanks again.